all the you know uh, magic items and everything <laughs> nice hello everybody uh welcome to ccl season 51 first round match we've got old grot with nurgle versus weathermore with orcs um in the booth with me is fine here hello hello everybody and we have a nurgle versus uh, orcs here so we're gonna see a lot of block dice in this game which is dedicated to our viewers in rwanda no with national flower, the red rose, and the national dish is the Rwandan goat brochets. Mm. And I'm not going to make any comment about Rwanda. I only hope the best for the people there. Mm. <laughs> it's pronounced wet. <laughs> oh, God. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, what's, that's what's so unnecessary. <laughs> So this old team looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? This is a looks a pretty amazing old team. Gets a big pom removal. Uh, Do the stuff. Jump and... up pommel, loads of guard, strength up, mighty, uh edge up, really nice. Uh the no go have a claw pommel though, and that might be yeah, enough. That, <laughs> that might be enough. And a dirty player, just in case. Mm. Other than that, uh, the Nargle are going to rely on the regen <laughs> and the full appearance to try to achieve anything. Yeah. Oh, and maybe this weakness here that this guy has to come over, doesn't he? Yeah. Lovely. Could have been one of them. And uh, Corpus, uh, second edition of uh, Dungeons and Dragons, allow you to go. The basic books have until uh, level 20, but there were the other books, rules books that allow you to go even to uh, 40, level 40, or even more. Mm. The epic levels with the uh, crazy stuff in there. Mm. Weathermore's got a got a bribe. I would have definitely got an apple, but I guess the bribes to discourage the pom. But you know, I would have gone for the apple to like heal after he does it. Uh, but I'd hate this running away here. Like the ball, the, you know, the, the, there's no, there's no. There danger. is no real just, just danger the there. Yes. Have the ball here or here, so then he he can do something more. It seems weird to go run away there. There's no like that. That made me check to see if there's a wizard or something, you know. But there's just nothing. How? I mean, yeah, it explains you know how bloated are uh, Nargle, pun intended. That are the orcs are the ones with the inducements. Yeah, yeah, this is incredible orc team. Loads of guard. Pom. Mighty like it's it's to be fair, it's not it's not a monster orc team, right? There's there is only one mighty in the Pom, like you 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 would really want mighty blow on all of the all of the black orcs and on all of the blitzers, wouldn't you? So like it could be a lot better this orc team, but it's it's still really nice, really T V efficient orc team. Really nice. All, all appearances. I mean, you have the black orcs more or less where you want them. Block, guard. More is welcome, but that's, you know, what you pray for to work on Mork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And good. yes, maybe a little more uh, mighty blow. Get Very good up. ball carrier. Yeah, I, I hate him being here. Get him up. Get him up. And then he can, then he can go either way and stuff and react. Like at the moment now... He's, he's going to take a turn to get where you need him to do something. That's really weird. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Hope I'm not doing anything yet. Cheeky wanna. Ooh. I mean, eh... Uh... Nargel needs to high roll this, but having the ball so back gives mm. the Nargel this chance, you know, to just to try to outrun the orcs, which yeah. is very easy. Yeah, that's the thing. See, so he's like, he's encouraged this. Like this move around here. If the ball's like here, then he can then he can react and like you know pull it over and stuff or whatever. Whereas now, like you've got to use all your movement getting forward to go somewhere. I don't know. I kind of hate it. I kind of hate it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now. Now he has to uh, succeed the foul appearance to hit this uh, to hit this noble warrior. He doesn't have to, I guess. But 
really wants to. <laughs> Russell, huge Russell. Big one. Strength five goes down. Maybe should have hit with the strength four there as a better player to get wrestled. Yeah, definitely should have hit him with a strength four. Lovely. Nice armor wreck. Hits with a, bl a blockless block instead of the block block. Greedy trying to free the guard blitzer instead mm. of the dirty player. Mm. To, to what? Didn't achieve that much. Yeah, I think I think it's probably better just to hit with a hit with him, and then you know, like it's not it's not that big a deal, I guess. But like it's also not that big a deal, so you might as well just make a block block. I guess it does expose the dirty player. Oh, who now gets knocked over because he's blockless? <laughs> I guess it protects the guard from the claw bomber a little bit. Well, there you go. And there goes the the dirty player. So now the bribe's looking really shit because he exposed the dirty player. And then the so, player is dead. Yeah, and, and he can st he, he, he's got a rookie here, to be fair. This is, uh, I'm hating this turn from Old Grot right now as he's abandoning this claw pommer. Oh my god. Oh my god. And yeah, he's found in the air strength five. Then it should have been the strength four, right? This, I think it's definitely correct. So you can stand him up and then jump up, block him. Blitz him and mega gang foul here. Also, could have mighty blood here. Oof. Oh, it reloads the foul appearance. Mm. I mean, he's not going to make any more rolls this turn, so. And he had a. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Only, only one reroll left. Oof. Yeah, now, now that blockless block's looking a lot worse, isn't it? Yep. And now it's time for the foul. Sent off. Bribe. Works. Well, it was a bit of a gym foul, wasn't it? Maybe he should have done that jump up, uh, block, and move that, you know. I don't know. He's, he's, he's got the bribe right, so it's, it's pretty low risk doing the foul. Wow, makes the dodge out. And he's scared of getting fouls, it didn't pile on there. He's been fouled a fair amount, hasn't he? And I don't know, I think it's probably worth piling on still. I, I think I think, I think the biggest chance of the Nargal here is getting lucky with the block rolls and the sweltering heat. Mm -hmm. Cause now you're getting mighty blood, right? And and fouled. This is the thing, like you know, okay, you didn't pile, but now you just get mighty bow hit and then fouled anyway. So why not? Why not just pile on him? Why not follow and pile? Pile every single time. Mm. It's a jungle out there, and you're either piling on or getting piled. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's, I don't know why this why the the game offers the cho the, the choice. <laughs> yeah. See, and he's KO'd, whereas if he'd piled on the, the dirty player, he might have, uh, he might have killed him. <laughs> Always pile on. Hello, Gdanik. Hello, Gdanik. How are you being your uh, festive period? Mm. Or Ooh. whatever you have in Australia, the Kangaroo Day or whatever it is. <laughs> Kangaroo day, you know, when Jesus was born in the back of a kangaroo or something like that. <laughs> Amazing. 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 <laughs> it's 
Okay. Good to know. Good to know, Danny, that you enjoy your uh, kangaroo day. <laughs> oh my god. Indeed, I mean, indeed, it, Savage. Where's the TV? Oh, where's the best PP? Yes. <laughs> oh man, kangaroo boxing day. Yeah, shit. Kangaroo boxing. I mean, oh. Christmas is the only period of the year when you see news about Australia that are not about the horrible monster because the news are Santa on a jet sky, you know, uh, or surfing or something like that. <laughs> and then every year, and now it's time to see, you know, New Year from Australia, which is earlier than here. <laughs> yeah, every that, fucking... That's it. Every single year, the same. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look at the fireworks on the opera house from Sydney. Okay, guys, yes, we know. We know. <laughs> we know. We know. Fuck's sake. This is a bit shit from Weathermore, isn't it? I don't know, like, how he's got himself in this position. But, like, nothing screamed out as terrible that he's done. Yet, all of a sudden, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Yes, I was uh, a little distracted there by the all growth have been uh, using very well all his pieces putting a lot of pressure. Mm. Which as at some point whether it's more, more or less cages himself on the side. Yeah. This is quite nice though having the two guards there, but of course you can just you could just one D him out of the way, and then two, and then one D the ball. But I guess one D the ball isn't that exciting. Well, he could have one D there, and then two D there, and then if it's a pow, then he could have gone one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. I heard the beast, I, uh, which have done absolutely nothing all the half. Yeah, the beast has been irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> But this wasn't a good turn from Holgra. Holgra had to get a bit rowdy, you know, 1D, 2D, and then hit the ball. That was the play. I'm sure. I'm sure that was the play. Like, it might not have been that likely to work, but this is just nothing. <laughs> now, turn 7 for the Orcs. Oh, yeah, it's turn 7. Oh, okay, so it's not that bad. But, I mean... You're quite happy giving a Nurgle a two turn, aren't you? No problem at all. Uh, one D block, then a one D blitz, and then a dodge. <laughs> two plus dodge. Oof. You know, it didn't look so difficult for the Orcs to score three times ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So some, there's been some good play from Olgro or some bad play from Weathermore or something because it didn't seem. But subtle because it didn't. Nothing leapt out as being like really good or really bad. So I don't know what happened there. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Those kind of games where there's nothing really stand out. It must just be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Was the blitz right with foul appearance? That's a good point, Gadenik. Yeah, probably not, right? Yeah, because. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. That is a very good point, Nick. Yeah, I should have just dodged because of foul appearance, yeah. Alloway Dev, holy shit. A Dev pulling himself away from Diablo 2 for a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Diablo 2, Gee, oh my god. So many memories of the, when the game actually came out years and years ago. Yeah, glorious. No, it, it doesn't. It is a well. It's not a turnover corner, but it ends your move, so it doesn't leave you the dodge. It does not leave you the dodge, so he should not have blitzed. He should have literally just dodged. If he, if the wait, wait, wait. Failed. If you blitz and get foul appearance, you can keep moving. You can't keep moving, no. Wow! Did they know that? Yeah. So he should have. He should have just dodged. Wow! My God! <laughs> Actually been outdoors, Unbel unbelievable, Ada. Oh no, yeah, yeah, I knew it, actually, yeah, do, do some hiking in that, don't you? Oh wow, big Kaz. 
that's a much more likely. That's a much more worried thing about when you when you leave Nurgle a two turn. It's much more likely to just cast a dude than score, isn't it? That's more. more yeah, I mean, uh, as a host, win the hit for both teams. Mm. Because now you know is when you like, you want to have the maximum hit the uh, failures, so you can have more players for the second half. Yes. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, nobody. Oh no, mighty blow warrior out. And uh, black guard, black orc out. So yeah, the heat could decide the second half. And thanks, here, Dev. Happy holidays to you too. I just wanted to make the Diablo two joke. <laughs> oh yeah, so hiking in the woods here, yeah, there, eh? Uh, okay. Yeah, just fellow. hiding the bodies. <laughs> Why Max 3D there? <laughs> Will be the redemption of the... No, it's not the redemption of the beast. No, I don't think there's any redemption for this beast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm calling it now. That beast is not going to be in the second half. It's going <laughs> to fail the sweltering heat. <laughs> that might be his redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Google should have gone not further for one, two, three, four, five, six. He should have been two more forward, shouldn't he? If he could have done, so he could have just got the straight hand off. Is this guy even in range? I think they didn't even try seriously to do the two tunnel. You know, they just moved the pieces to look like they were trying to. <laughs> He's not in range, is he? Oh, this could... Oh, no. So he's going to lob it to this guy, who will then do a 3 plus to score. 3 plus 2 plus to score. Still has the reroll. Just going to punch some guys first. Which is undoubtedly the correct play. Here we go. And here comes the pass. Dublay GFI. Pass. Catch. Oh man. And now, oh man, it's happening. Oh Ooh, man. There you go. <laughs> Two time uh, Nargle play. Oof. Oh, that's. That's that much hard. Yeah, that's good. And now the sweltering heat certainly can decide the game. Yeah, that was, that was definitely bad defense from Weatherman. That was. Yes, because it wasn't so, it wasn't a difficult play to score for the uh, Nargel there. Yeah. So sweltering heat. What do we have here? Hundred percent sure, core knight. In in Blood Bowl 2020, you can't make any move, but in in CRP, you can't continue moving after that. Um, wow, huge! The the orcs lose their ball carrier, and I got a piece. And the Nagel is there. The carrier. Carrier. <laughs> and the mm. So more or less equivalent pieces lost. You know, wow. keeping the balance here. Yeah, nine, nine versus nine, but the claw mighty now. The, well, the claw palm is surely going to be the difference. Yeah, you're you're all wrong. Nick's right. I'm right. Everyone else who disagrees with this is wrong. Uh, you have to trust the someone. You know, a member of the northern hemisphere and a member of the southern hemisphere agree. <laughs> so all the world comes together. So yeah, it's true. <laughs> I believe you. And also, uh, what I'm surprised is that the, all these games I've been watching and everything like that, and I, I uh, played with Nargle back in the day, never, <laughs> never realized that. That makes full appearance even better. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. 
No, it's a great skill to have in big numbers. Maybe it's in the FAQ. It it definitely ends the action. Well, one hundred percent ends the action. I only care. I oh, there is the the beast <clears throat> being a disappointment again. Yeah, no redemption for the beast. In fact, no exposes redemption for the beast. It. Uh, it doesn't expose him that much, I guess, because it would take two assists for a one D, and then you've blocked your path through anyway. So it wasn't crippling to fail the the beast there. Alright, that's a matter. We only matter here Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3 when it comes out. That other stuff that people use in the, to touch plastic and all that in real life is. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't believe you, man, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys, that was too quick. <laughs> oh my god. Claw pumping definitely ends this orc's turn anyway. He's just claw mining, he's not even following, he's just claw mining and casting everything. That's uh, GG. Well, it's not GG, but it's close to GG, isn't it? Yes, I mean, if it was the Nargle team and I, this was a marvelous snap, I will be snapping right now. <laughs> hey! Oh man, snap so good. The snap mechanic. Imagine the snap mechanic in Blood Bowl, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, it's so. Yeah, it's, it's, the snap thing is so good, and also it's like, oh no, but it's so good at the same time. <laughs> also, I reach uh, level 70, and that's, I think it's gonna be my sailing. <laughs> Oh man, I've I've just eroded from 88 to 84. I can't, I can't climb anymore. Ah uh, yes, because you're starting in 100 because you were climbing in pool two. Yeah, yeah. I should have I should have <laughs> stayed in pool two. I should have just got to 100 when I was still in pool two, you know. But instead, I got to 88 and then went to pool three and then just couldn't get any higher. I should have at least got to 90. But really, 100. I mean, I believe you, man, because I was just. Oh, monkeys have done uh, Okay, okay. Now, oh, there you go. So there you go. Oh Nick God. and I totally wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. I really oh believed my it. Oh, my God. I really believed it as well. Like, I would I would have bet money on, on it ending your turn. That's crazy. Oh, my God. This is... Nearly as bad as catching your parents cheating with G5. <laughs> <laughs> I feel betrayed and sick. Yeah, me too. That, me uh, too, to Nick, be honest. Dick and uh, Jimmy bamboozling us. Yeah, man. I'm like, I'm good. Imagine getting a rule wrong in a little children's game. Like, it's yeah. terrible. Actually terrible. I'm ashamed. I'm fully yeah. ashamed. That's not why. Uh, how did you get presents on Koala Day, Gideon? That's not how you get presents <laughs> on Koala Day. <laughs> I would have genuinely like bet, you know, a solid hundred pound. As I would have bet a hundred pound that I was correct on that. Like I was what? certain I was correct. What a roller coaster of uh, stream is this been? And monkeys proving the right. And probably monkeys is a CCL champion. Let's remember that. Yeah, yeah. But Gdeinik too. I will never be trusting Gdeinik ever again. Yeah. Well, he's not a CCL champ, but he's good. I'm the second highest uh, Nurgle ranked coach in CCL history. <laughs> all my life. <laughs> all my life. I think maybe not all your life, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> No, it's Koala, Koala Jesus. Koala, Santa Koala. <laughs> the one that gives the breast. All oh your life you've God. been playing around spiders <laughs> liable to attack you any moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Go on. Yeah, the kangaroo kept Jesus safe in his pouch. Yeah. In the pouch, yes. I, I don't know, Ducky. I don't know. We need to. I, I, just, I was just improvising, you know. The it's part of story, you know. It's the one, you know, the three wise men that give uh, gold, mirror, and uh, frankincense. The koalas was to bring the um, mint leaves <laughs> to Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. I like this beast has been unbelievably terrible, but you know, the claw mighty has made up for it. Well, the claw pommer just hasn't even had to use his power anymore. Oh man, that's that's like it's good to have the strength five there in a way, but like it just takes an extra assist. Like it's not really good to have the strength five there. And while he's not hitting the strength five, outrageous, outrageous properly, not hitting the strength properly five. Properly punished with a double skull for making the wrong uh, block. Again, doesn't follow, and again gets you know an arm break like. Surely you put the assist in and pom him. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. I guess stranding, stranding the strength four, the strength five, Black Orc is fine. But I'd rather claw pom him to pieces. Me too, Nick. Me too. Maybe it's just like confusing it with... Uh, Tentacles, right? But I would swear it as well. Like I would, I would swear it as well. That's 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 Nick opening Bullet Ball Two and making a friendly game and checking it and <laughs> yeah. looking in despair to the screen. Can yeah, be. it can't be. Me too. It can't be. I would swear it as well. I I would swear that that was what it was. It's so fucking weird. I mean, I haven't played the 2016 or 2020 rules, and that's totally different, because in those rules, you just don't make the blitz at all. And I knew that was a me mega, mega boost to, to foul appearance, right? Like, it's fucking weird. That's so weird. Oh, the beast finally coming good luck. Redemption for the beast! <laughs> Redemption for the beast. The fact that, I mean, you know, this disaster of a uh, fall appearance in front of our viewers from Rwanda. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it's so weird. I just don't, I don't get how it could be so wrong. <laughs> Story of man. <laughs> that's, that's how you call your erections, Cornite. <laughs> <laughs> At certain age, that's how you call your second round. <laughs> oh wow! Rerolled, rerolled the foul prince because he couldn't move afterwards. Yeah, I think it must be mixing something up with tense. Yeah. Thanks, Cornite. It's good to be present in your thoughts and prayers. Because obviously, tentacles. If you fail the tentacles, you can't. You can't then uh, do anything Move, else. Yes, right? because you have failed the tentacles. That's no, the you can't. You tentacles. can't throw a pass. You can't throw a pass, right? If you declare a oh. pass and you fail the tentacles, you can't pass because failing Wait. the tentacles ends your turn. And like, if you Is declare that... a blitz and you try and dodge away, it ends your turn and stuff. So it's probably the tentacles. I imagine it's tentacles is what's done us in. Them. I believe really... that when Mankis confirms it. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry for uh, the. I thought I, I actually thought I was sure that you have already won a uh, chalice. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you do tense is on the same team as foul appearance. Like, you know, because no one really has tentacles that isn't a beast of Nurgle, and no one really has foul appearance that isn't a, a Nurgle player, so like. It's probably what it was, but it's still really weird. Really weird to be that dumb. <laughs> Both Nick and myself, big dummies. Now, oh, well, there you go, and that's it. Um, 
Not a lot Weathermore could do in that half, I think, but versus such a rowdy claw mighty. You know, maybe I mean, he had to be a bit more rowdy himself to try and combat it, you know, maybe he had to try and high roll more, but just like waiting to lose versus the claw mighty wasn't really good, but I mean he just lost so many players, what can what can you do? Orcs don't have a lot of agency do they? No, one of the uh, and here comes the piling on. There we go. Another one gone. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he shouldn't let him have the two turn, right? So now, now if he's got, now if he's got overtime, he should not. Like, yeah, he lost it with that. that. Yeah, that, that was it. Yes, I think uh, uh, Olgorod make very good use of all of his tools, mostly the claw bomb. To be honest, if it <laughs> works, it's fantastic. But besides that, you know, he's always putting a lot of pressure. Mm. Which is surprising because the team with, you know, more, more guard and more, you know, independence and all that was the Orcs. Yeah. And you could have really won this in overtime, right? Uh, that's 10 max for the for the, for the the Nurgle and 11 max for the Orcs. So, yeah, if, if he had defended that two turn, we'd be going in overtime with, you know, okay, zero rerolls versus three. But then maybe he would have saved rerolls on defense if he was if he was 1-0 up. So... Yeah, the, the the key thing was the was the two turn defense. That was that should be the takeaway for Weathermore. Rather than being you know, rather than cry about being diced in the second half. Which he kind of was, but his the slivers of equity were his defence of the two turn. He should have been better. Yeah, it is exposing the DP, yeah, fair enough. Which also, you know, custom reroll. Everything piles up. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. It is a. Uh, it is like what's it called? Since the Big Bang, there has been a chain of events that <laughs> started with the beginning of the universe, which ended with whether it's more loose in this game. Foul appearance. Look, he couldn't move anymore after he failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. I could... A random, a random fuck you at the end. <laughs> yes, classic blood ball, you know, classic blood ball. You think you are safe, eh? You think you are safe. Well, there you go. Um, what's it called? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, what's it called? Cumulative, cumulative positional impact, isn't it, is the thing. Like, so that, that's the thing when, like, you say, what would you do better in this turn? It's like, well, I would have played every single previous turn differently, right? And, that, and that's the thing, isn't it? So it's... You you end up in spots that, like... It all adds up and, yeah, it's interesting. Super interesting. Yeah, it's usually when you're in that kind of situation that you are, you know, that you need to roll fives or something like that or whatever it is. Usually, if you go back, and you start looking around, you can find the spot where, oh yes, that is. And sometimes it's just being, you know, the player one square to the left or one square to the right. Hmm. Indeed. Okay, well, there's more. Well, there's more. Good to have you here. You can watch the boat, don't worry. You can watch the boat. <laughs> there is, it's an absolute roller coaster. Revelations, betrayal, kangaroo day. It's, oh my God, it's all there. Yeah, it's actually it's actually very very good vod, isn't it? With a kangaroo den, Nick and I exposed as scumbag so liars, ignorant, <laughs> frauds, frauds. Yeah, I feel I was like in a cryptocurrency scheme, you know, everybody lying. Yeah, Nick and I need our own NFTs now. <laughs> our own foul appearance NFTs. <laughs> God. Delete the bottom and we can deny this together. <laughs> there was never a, there was never any VOD. You can never you can never find the VOD of, of a foul appearance. Right. Um but yeah, no, there's nothing bad weather, but nothing bad. Um the, the, obviously yeah, exposing the DP as it have said, the the defending the two turn, and then obviously the second half, the nothing you can do against the dice. Um, but you know, congratulations to Olgrot, commiserations to Weathermore. Thank you very much, Fimey. Absolutely glorious. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I hope that our viewers in Rwanda enjoyed 
this uh, stream and the revelations that happen in the need. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.